Yesterday, I know Mrs. Richard began a unit with you on characters and how you really need to create a mental movie and step into the shoes of the character so you can better understand what's going on, right? Yeah. Today, we're going to take that one step farther. So you're still going to be creating a mental movie of the character, except we need to be thinking about, today I want to talk about how readers realize sometimes when they're just reading to read and they're understanding the words that are on the page, but they're not really imagining that it's happening to them. We need to get to the point where in the book someone knocks on the door, it's like we hear that knock because we're so involved in the story. Or if someone says, wait, we feel like they're, we're the ones shouting that, right? Because if you really step into the shoes of that character, you feel like what's happening to that character is happening to you. And sometimes when we're reading, we just kind of read the words on the page and we don't really understand. So we need to learn as readers to stop and make ourselves step into the shoes of the character. I heard that you were reading The Enormous Egg, right? Mm -hmm. So what I did is I picked two passages, or we call them excerpts, from the book where I thought it would be really easy for you to step into the shoes of the character. So I'm going to do the first one, and then I'm going to have you do the second one with me, where we practice stepping into the shoes of the character, creating that mental movie, and pretending as if that happened to us, because that's what we do in our good reading, okay? So here's the first one. I'm just going to read it. You follow along. I ran back to the house and yelled out that our hen had just laid the biggest egg in the world. And hurry up and look at it before it explodes or something. We all tore out to the hen house, and I was afraid the egg would be gone. But there it was, and the hen was sitting on top of it, doing her best to cover it up. Now you might just read it and say, oh, he saw the egg and he wanted to tell people about it. That's not very exciting, right? You need to pretend that you're the character and you're running to that, come, come on, you got to see this egg, come on. I hope it's still there, I hope it's still there, right? So you're stepping into the shoes of the character and you're the one who's running towards the house to tell him to come and check out the big egg. Do you see how you stepped into it and you imagined it was happening to you? We're going to try it with this one. And this is another piece, I think that you can do it. So I'm going to read it and then I'm going to ask you to be thinking, what might you be doing if you were this character? How are you stepping into the shoes of the character? What are you thinking? What are you feeling? Okay, so I'm going to read it, and I want you to be thinking about if you were the character, what would you be thinking and feeling at that minute? Okay, so read along with me. I'm going to read it to you. Well, this hen couldn't budge that big egg, so I had to come in three or four times a day and turn it over for her. I piled the straw up good around it to help keep it warm, and between the two of us, we managed pretty well in the daytime but it kept me kind of busy. Luckily, school was over by this time where I don't think I could have done it. So are we thinking about how you'd be feeling if you were that character? Mm -hmm. What I want you to do is with your neighbor, I want you to turn and talk. What are you thinking or feeling if that was you? Step into the shoes of the character. What are you thinking or feeling if you just had to do that? Go ahead. All right, so today when you go to your independent reading, I have a sticky note that I'm gonna to give to each of you. And while you're doing your independent reading, I want you to be looking for a place in the text where you really stepped into the shoes of the character. And you're thinking, well, I feel exhausted. I feel tired. I heard that knock on the door, right? So when you're doing your independent reading, I want all of you to find one place that you stepped into the shoes of the character and you created a mental movie. When we come back after independent reading, we're gonna come back to the carpet. You're gonna share with the person next to you about what part you really stepped into the shoes of the character. Do you understand? So can someone tell me, when you go back to your seat for independent reading, what are you supposed to stick in it? Yeah? When you, um, what part are you um, connected with the um, character? Sure. And by connect, what do you mean? Um, what you feel, what he's feeling. Sure. I like that. When you feel what he's feeling or she's feeling. Do we understand? Mm -hmm.